Many families are discovering the life changing benefits of goat's milk. Some swear by it, saying it's the only thing that'll fix eczema and other health problems. Rob Sparks' Cedar Vale Billy Goat Farm holds a special secret to good health. Rob started breeding and showing goats as a hobby, but it became much more. We initially went into goats uh, because of our young daughter. She had um, bronchitis. And end of story, no more bronchitis. Luxury loving Cleopatra used to bathe in goat's milk. She was onto something all those years ago. It works wonders for skin conditions like eczema. Leanne Faulkner has owned goats at her home for years. Oh, I just love them, you know, they're just absolutely gorgeous ladies. When her son suffered terrible eczema, they became a godsend. It was just out of desperation. I thought, oh, I've got to do something for him. Um, I didn't know what else to do. And I went to the internet, found out that goat's milk soap is supposedly good for people with sensitive skin. So this former corporate queen set to work. And I thought, oh, I've got goats. I've got milk. I'll see if I can make some soap. The eczema disappeared. And then Leanne wanted to help others. We started in my kitchen. I used to make soap on a Saturday night. Now her Billy Goat soap products are in 1800 stores around the country. It literally took three baths for it to clear up. Yeah, three baths. Kylie Karp's three year old son Thomas is now a much happier little boy. Thomas used to scream out in the middle of the night, screaming for me, and I used to have to go in and soothe it with creams, and oh, it was awful. And that's what it's all about. We have staff luncheons once a month, they're called Bleat and Eat, and we share the testimonials, the emails, the phone calls about how Billy Goat Soap has helped somebody. The team at Billy Goat Soap hopes their product helps to change a misconception about goats, that they're actually pretty placid and pretty useful animals. No one knows that better than Rob Sparks, who's been drinking the milk for years. They're going to carry me out in a box. I'm heading up towards 70 now, and the goat's milk certainly hasn't done me any harm. And that's something to bleat about. <coughs> Jessica Turner, 10 News.